Question 1. From 1999 to 2000 HTN was slightly more prevalent in men, 30.1%, than women, 27.1%. However, the prevalence is increasing in women and remaining unchanged in men. Men have a higher prevalence of HTN than women until age underscore. A. 35. B. 45. C. 55. D. 65. Answer is C. Men have a higher prevalence of HTN than women until age 55. Question 2. HTN prevalence is highest in underscore, 43% males, 44% females, when compared to non-Hispanic whites, 29%. A. Hispanics. B. African Americans. C. Asians. D. Native Americans. Answer is B. HTN prevalence is highest in African Americans. Question 3. What is the major cause of essential HTN? A. Chronic kidney disease. B. Genetics. C. Sympathetic overactivity. D. Increased renin. E. Unknown. Answer is E. Major cause of essential HTN is not known. Question 4. What are some causes of secondary hypertension? Select all that apply. A. Cushing syndrome. B. Chronic kidney disease. C. Pheochromocytoma. D. Drug-induced. E. COPD. Answers A, B, C, and D are correct. Cushing syndrome, chronic kidney disease, pheochromocytoma, drug-induced. Question 5. What are some drugs that cause secondary hypertension? Select all that apply. A, NSAIDs. B, erythropoietin. C, gemfibrozil. D, oral contraceptives. E, Ambien. Answers A, B, and D are correct. NSAIDs, oral contraceptives, erythropoietin. Question 6. What is the difference from hypertensive urgency to an emergency? Select all that apply. A. Urgency does not cause organ damage. B. An example of urgency is unstable angina, while an emergency is an acute me. C. You can treat an emergency as nifedipine IR. D. Perioperative HTN and optic disc edema are examples of urgency. E. You can treat urgency with nifedipine IR. Answers A and D are correct. Urgency does not cause organ damage. Perioperative HTN and optic disc edema are examples of urgency. Question 7. Hemodynamically, blood pressure is a product of underscore. Select the two that best apply. A. Blood flow. B. Stroke volume. C. Peripheral resistance. D. Atrial natriuretic peptide. E. Cardiac output. Answers C and E are correct. Peripheral resistance and cardiac output. Question 8. A patient presents with a BP of 14085. This patient is classified as having A. Prehypertension B. Normal C. Stage I HTN D. Stage 2 HTN Answer is C. A patient presents with a BP of 14085. This patient is classified as having stage I HTN. Question 9. Question 9. Can you diagnose HTN based on a single elevated blood pressure reading? A. Yes. B. No. Answer is B. No. You cannot diagnose HTN based on a single elevated blood pressure reading. Question 10. The proposed mechanisms behind high sodium intake and blood pressure include an increase in intracellular calcium, insulin resistance, a paradoxical rise in atrial natriuretic peptide, and other pressure effects. A. True. B. False. Answer is A. The proposed mechanisms behind high sodium intake and blood pressure include an increase in intracellular calcium, insulin resistance, a paradoxical rise in atrial natriuretic peptide, and other pressure effects is true. Question 11. Hypertension is a significant cause of heart failure, but not of instage renal disease. A. True. B. False. Answer is B. Hypertension is a significant cause of heart failure, but not of instage renal disease is false. Dot. Question 12. Patient failing to achieve goal blood pressure despite maximum doses of two antihypertensive agents should be carefully screened for resistant hypertension. A. True. B. False. Answer is B. Patient failing to achieve goal blood pressure despite maximum doses of two antihypertensive agents should be carefully screened for resistant hypertension is false. Question 13. Hypertensive patients are usually symptomatic. A. True. B. False. Answer is B. Hypertensive patients are usually symptomatic as false. Question 14. A stethoscope placed over the brachial artery in the antecubital fossa identifies the first and last audible underscore, which should be taken as systolic and diastolic pressure, respectively. 
A, S3. B Korotkov sounds. C split S2. D Vernica sounds. Answer is B A stethoscope placed over the brachial artery in the antecubital fossa identifies the first and last audible are Korotkov sounds. Question 15. The DASH trial demonstrated that a diet high in fruits, vegetables, and low-fat dairy products, along with a reduced intake of total and saturated fat, significantly reduced blood pressure in as little 8 weeks. A true. B false. Answer is A. The DASH trial demonstrated that a diet high in fruits, vegetables, and low-fat dairy products, along with a reduced intake of total and saturated fat, significantly reduced blood pressure in as little 8 weeks is true. Question 16. Which drug is twice as potent as hydrochlorothiazide? A. Andapamide. B. Chlorthalidone. C. Furosemide. D. Bumetanide. E. Doxazosin. Answer is B. Chlorthalidone drug is twice as potent as hydrochlorothiazide. Question 17. Which aldosterone antagonist is contraindicated in patients with estimated creatinine clearance less than 50 milliliters slash minute or serum creatinine greater than 1.8 mg slash DL in women or greater than 2 mg slash DL in men? A. Spironolactone. B. Aplerinone. C. Doxazosin. D. Verapamil. E. Quinipril. Answer is B. Aplerinone aldosterone antagonist is contraindicated in patients with estimated creatinine clearance less than 50 mL slash minute or serum creatinine greater than 1.8 mg slash DL in women or greater than 2 mg slash DL in men. Question 18. A patient presents with a blood pressure of 55 BPM. Which drug should you use cautiously with this patient? A. Hydrochlorothiazide. B. Metoprolol. C. Amlodipine. D. Metoprolol and amlodipine. E. Metoprolol and verapamil slash diltiazem. Answer is E. Metoprolol and verapamil slash diltiazem. Question 19. Which drugs can increase potassium? Select all that apply. A. Hydrochlorothiazide. B. Spironolactone. C. Benazepril. D. Valsartan. E. Propranolol. Answers B, C and D are correct spironolactone, benazepril, and valsartan. Question 20. Which drug can cause hyperkalemia and gynecomastia? A. Chlorthalidone. B. Cartilol. C. Terezacin. D. Spironolactone. Answer is D. Spironolactone. Question 21. Which drugs have a compelling indication for diabetes, in addition to CCBS and chlorthalidone? A. ACEs and ARBs. B. Loop diuretics. C. Aldosterone antagonists. D. Alpha blockers. Answer is a ACEs and ARBs. Question 22. Abrupt discontinuation of these drugs causes rebound HTN. A. Andapamide and atenolol. B. Ficinopril and atenolol. C. Herbisartan and clonidine. D. Atenolol and andapamide. E. Atenolol and clonidine. Answer is E. Atenolol and clonidine. Question 23. Which drugs do not work well alone in the treatment of HTN and should be used cautiously in patients with renal insufficiency? A. ACE inhibitors. B. Potassium sparing diuretics. C. Loop diuretics. Answer is B. Potassium sparing diuretics. Question 24. 51% of patients with CV disease die of A. Stroke. B. HBP. C. Coronary heart disease. D. HF. Answer is C. Coronary heart disease. Question 25. CVD risk factors include, select all that apply. A. Dyslipidemia. B. Cigarette smoking. C. Microalbuminuria or estimated GFR less than 60 milliliters per minute. D. DM. E. Age, older than 35 for men, 45 for women. Answers A, B, C and D are correct dyslipidemia, cigarette smoking, Microalbuminuria or estimated GFR is less than 60 milliliters per minute and DM. Question 26. What is the percentage of patients with HTN have controlled HTN? A 84%. B 64%. C 44%. Answer is C 44%. Question 27. Increasing volume and decreasing venous dilation, which is constriction. A increases preload. B decreases preload. Answer is A increases preload. Question 28. Peripheral resistance is mainly responsible for? A. SBP. B. DBP. Answer is B. Peripheral resistance is mainly responsible for DBP. Question 29. 
increasing stroke volume and cardiac output. A increases BP. B decreases BP. Answer is A it increases BP. Question 30. If you have renal disease, or diabetes, your goal BP should be A. 115.75 B. 120.80 C. 130.80 D. 130.90 E. 40.90 Answer is C. 130.80 Question 31. What is the best anti-HTN med to use in African Americans and the elderly? A. Diuretic and B. Blocker B. Diuretic and ASI C. Diuretic and CCB. Answer is C. Diuretic and CCB. Question 32. Which drug is useful in slowing the demineralization in osteoporosis? A. BBs. B. CCBs. C. Thiazide. D. ACEs and ARBs. E. Renin is. Answer is C. ACEs and ARBs. Question 33. You should be cautious when using beta blockers and calcium channel blockers in second and third degree heart block. A true. B false. Answer is A. You should be cautious when using beta blockers and calcium channel blockers in second and third degree heart block is true. Question 34. Alpha 1 blockers are third line agents in heart failure. A true. B false. Answer is B. It is false. Question 35. ISH is defined as a SBP greater than underscore and a diastolic less than 90. A. 130. B.140. C. 150. D. 160. Answer is B. 140. Question 36. What is the number one lifestyle modification to decrease blood pressure? A. Restriction of sodium. B. Exercise. C. Increase calcium and potassium in foods. D. Avoid tobacco. E. Lose weight. Answer is E. Lose weight. Question 37. If BP is greater than underscore above goal, initiate therapy with two agents. One usually should be a thiazide type diuretic. A 10 fifths. B 20 tenths. C 30 tenths. D 30 15. E 40 20. Answer is B if BP is greater than 20 tenths above goal, initiate therapy with two agents. One usually should be a thiazide type diuretic. Question 38. What drugs should you avoid in angina? Check all that apply. A CCBs. B hydrolazine. C. Minoxidil. D. B. Blockers, non ESA E. Thiazide. Answers B and C are correct hydrolazine and minoxidil. Question 39. Which drug is most likely to cause angioedema? A. Cartilol. B. Hydrolazine. C. Lisinopril. Answer is C. Hydrolazine drug is most likely to cause angioedema. Question 40. Which drugs can be used in patients with a CRCL less than 30? Select all that apply. A. Thiazide. B. Loops. C. Half the dose of ACE I. D. Ficinopril. Answers B, C, and D are correct. Loops. Half the dose of ACE I and Ficinopril. Question 41. Angioedema, rash, metallic taste, and cough can occur with what drug? A. Metoprolol. B. Captopril. C. HCTZ. D. Spironolactone. Answer is B. Metoprolol. Question 42. This drug can cause flushing, headache, gerrit, and edema. It is useful in the elderly. IR formulations should be avoided. A. Propranolol. B. Benazepril. C. Metoprolol. D. Nifedipine. E. Terazosin. Answer is D. Nifedipine drug can cause flushing, headache, gerrit, and edema. It is useful in the elderly. 